It's YouTube Wednesday! So I have to make an alien body and uh, I'm gonna use a technique called sticky paper because it's easy, it's fast, and it's cheap. And you can make pretty cool big stuff with it. Um, I have just a roll of construction paper from Home Depot. It's about 12 bucks. Uh, and it's enough to make a lot of things. And uh, I'm using contact cement also from Home Depot. It's about 30 bucks a gallon, um, and I'm using it through an Easy E sprayer that I get from ClayPlanet.com. Uh, Easy E sprayer from ClayPlanet.com. All right, so step one: I just coat both sides of this in contact cement. I've sprayed this side. I've got to let it dry for just a minute or so, and then I got to flip it over and hit the other side. Um, but now I'm going to spread out paper all over the floor in here and, uh, and get it sprayed so I can have a lot of material to work with. Uh, so this side is actually coated and dry. I need to flip it over and then I'll be able to uh, spray the other side. The good thing is now it'll kind of stick to the table just a touch. One side of glue on something normally isn't a great bond but it will stick enough where I don't have to weigh it down and it won't curl up. I have two other piece, big pieces on the floor here and those pieces are also getting glue on both sides. Once I spray this side down, I'll then be able to flip those two and spray them down. I'm gonna spray these other two, uh, flip and then spray these other two, and uh, then I'll be able to start building. So I'm making an alien body. Uh, I have some sick, sticky paper prepared. I don't think this will be enough to do the whole project, but it'll at least get me a good start. Uh, sticky paper is an amazing material because it sticks to itself. It's almost like building out of aluminum foil, but it's a lot lighter and cheaper. And it sticks to itself way better. The first thing I'll do is I'll get a hunk and I'm going to ball it up. Uh, that's going to be an alien leg. But uh, already I have the basis of some legs form. Now this leg is longer than this one. Okay, so I'll just, uh, there, fixed it. Uh, that is the joy of sticky paper. I'm going to knock this body out and then uh, I'll get back to you. I'm trying to work with it in uh, decent sized chunks. If you try to work with too much at once, it's gonna stick to itself in the wrong spots and that'll just frustrate you. Well, you can see, I mean, what a material this is. I just opened it up to see the size of piece I'm using because that's going to, I need to use the same size piece making the next arm. So here's my alien coming along. It's this easy to get body shapes. I know that I'm gonna use a mask on this uh, to make him look, uh, you know, a little more realistic. So I have to get his head at least human size. Uh, now 
I'm going to do over the whole thing just a skin uh, of the same material. And this one I don't want to work in huge pieces. I really want just some pieces that I go over. If you have ripped edges, they blend in no problem. See, but see how that skin is really homogenizing this form uh, and just gonna, it's gonna hold it all together and make it look a lot smoother. You know, once I get him skinned, I can still add on top of that. I'll probably do a little more balls on the shoulders to make up for this giant head. Uh, and uh, I'll do a whole skin over the back too because I want this to be a nice, solid piece. It's gotta last the whole hunt season. All right, so here's my alien body that is about to get painted. Uh, I'm gonna spray it down with a good coat of uh, contact cement. Uh, that's gonna kind of help give it, you know, a little bit more of a skin. You can see it's really solid and stable now. Uh, all it is is paper, but uh, boy, does it hold together well with that contact cement. Okay, I'm going to let that set for about 5-10 minutes. I'll come back, I'll press everything together, give it another final seal, flip it over, more contact cement. So now I'm just going to uh, blend some of these seams out a bit with, the, uh, with some caulk, just some latex silicone caulk. Okay, I'll find, uh, put on, throw on some gloves and spread this around. I'm gonna help make a nice skin on this guy. And uh, even out all my paper marks and all that. If you get a caulk that is paintable, your life is going to be easier than if you don't. So this is just water, uh, just a cup of water. So I can smooth this out a bit. Get it to spread a little better. I'm kind of in a rush. I have painted the top half of this body with leak seal. It's the only step that I missed. 
it's me spray painting something. You have about probably four hours of footage of that if you watch my other videos. Um, I didn't mean to edit it out, but uh, you know, it's the week before opening, so I forgot to uh, put my camera on. All right, so now this has to dry. And the back side. So that's a good thick layer on there. That's gotta dry, then I can do some detail painting. Okay, I'm gonna do a quick dry brush on him uh, to pop him out. Remember, my this is a gray alien, but also my show is uh, black and white. Uh, I'm using straight acrylics on him. That's because uh, he's not really flexible, so it's not like he's a foam-filled body that's gonna bend. I mean, he is very rigid, so I'm not worried about the paint cracking and flaking. Uh, he's kind of a display only as far as where he is set up. I get myself a nice gray first. So here's my alien body made out of sticky paper. Um, he's going to lay an alien autopsy scene. I have a half mask that I'm going to put on here and blend in his head, but you easily could do it um, by building up the features in this same way um, or using aluminum foil, which might get you a little bit finer textures and then using that layer of caulk over top. But here he is. Here's my uh, alien body made out of uh, sticky paper. <laughs> 